Well, many questions after an eight year old girl dies when she was sucked into a pipe inside of a pool at a hotel over the weekend. It happened Saturday evening at the Doubletree Hotel in Northwest Houston. That's where we find Fox 26's Jade Flory. Jade, what do we know at this point? Well, Houston police are still waiting for the autopsy results for eight-year-old Aaliyah Hako. It's still unclear what exactly caused her death, but search and rescue experts that I spoke with today believe it may have been a mechanical pump malfunction. This is something we never thought that we'd see. What started as a normal day at the pool became a desperate search for an eight-year-old girl who disappeared on Saturday. Investigators say the girl was swimming with family in a lazy river-style pool at the Doubletree Hotel. Officials reviewed security footage and say it shows the little girl going under the water, but never coming up. We never see her get out of the pool. The Texas EquiSearch team was called to assist with the search. Hours later, using long poles with cameras attached to the ends, searchers found the girl inside of a large pipe in the pool. The size of her body, I, it would have been nearly impossible for her to intentionally swim in that pipe. Because when I say she was lodged in there tight, she was lodged in there tight. The eight-year-old girl, Aaliyah Lynette Yako. Her family says she was an energetic little girl who loved swimming, animals, and being outdoors. They say she was a kind girl who touched the hearts of those who met her. To even imagine that her body could get in a pipe that size, something had to go terribly wrong. Investigators are still at work, but they are working some theories. Something went wrong in the suction was actually pushing out. What was pushing out was actually sucking it in. Now we did reach out to the Double Tree by Hilton about the incident, and they say that this Double Tree Brook Hollow location is independently owned and operated, so they cannot comment on the hotel's behalf. In the meantime, the pool is closed until further notice. Reporting from Northwest Houston, Jade Flurry, Fox 26 News. All right, Jade, thank you. Well, we just got our hands on a report from the Houston Health Department about the hotel pool, and it shows numerous violations the department wants fixed. And you can find this full report on fox26houston.com. Our Sherman DeSalle is digging into these violations and we'll have a lot more on those details tonight at 9.